Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies and welcome to my end of the month haul for October. These are all the films that I picked up or were given for review and uh, some convention hauls that I did in my previous video. So these are all movies, um, saving items from um, like records and figures and all that stuff for a later video. But I just want to get this movies out because uh, yeah, got a lot of, a lot of movies. <laughs> well, without further ado, we'll do the convention ones first. These are some bootlegs that I bought. Uh, one is Crowhaven Farm. Uh, so I'll do the DVDs first and the Blu-rays. So we got Crowhaven Farm. I uh, don't know much about it, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, the Halloween that wasn't. This is also known as Dracula Saves Halloween. This was a made-for-TV special uh, made from in the 1970s. It's actually pretty cool. This is a fun little uh, thing to watch during Halloween. It was cheesy, but fun. Um, so I had to buy it. It was uh, the Godzilla 85. This is the American cut. Since um, Kraken released the Japanese cut of this film, I had to have it just because I needed the American cut. I know it's not the best, but at least I have both. And of course, I also have Satan's Triangle. This looks pretty badass. Another made-for-TV movie from the 70s, I think. So, yeah. Also from the convention, I uh, got the Bible Belt Slasher. This is part two. Supposedly it has part one in it as well. The low-budget slasher signed by Genevieve LaRossi. She was in several of these films. And, of course, I picked up her uh, made movie it's only six minutes long and the title just attracted me and that is attack of the killer chickens oh, yep and uh, Genevieve Rossi presented this it looks like it's all puppetry and everything so yeah she even signed it for me that's pretty cool funny also I grabbed is um, Bernard T. Ward's popcorn bag of terror got it signed and I sent a copy to Moods hopefully he gets it soon I guess it's like a horror anthology. And last from the convention, I picked up uh, called Backwoods. Um, this is a film, I guess, uh, the gentleman that was in House of a Thousand Corpses that played uh, the really big guy, Michael David Mukes, I think his name is. Uh, he plays one of the Backwoods guys, and he had a bunch of these. Never heard of it, never seen it. He says it's popular in Germany. Why not? So yeah, he signed it too. And he even signed the disc, which is pretty badass. You see it? Let me know. Pretty cool. Backwoods. All right, let's get on with the DVDs. Uh, first one I grabbed was a made-for-sci-fi sci movie called uh, Seeds of Destruction. It's about a giant uh, killer, not a killer, but a giant prehistoric root destroying the city and everything. So it looked pretty, looked pretty stupid. Uh, this was dirt cheap. For a brand new movie. I don't know if it's any good. And that is Vlad. Of course it has Billy Zane and Brad Dourif in it. So it caught my attention for sure. If anybody's seen this one let me know. I paid like two bucks brand new. Also for used. I picked up with a slip. Is Robert. I guess this is a killer doll film. Um, I don't remember much about this movie at all. Being presented. I think it was like a Walmart film. Don't know. I uh, had to go old school Anchor Bay on this. Uh, the old school, this is the Nosferatu uh, two disc edition. Doesn't have a, it's got two discs from Klaus Kinski. So it's got both of the films. Um, it's a couple special features in the back there. I know this is out on Blu ray, but I also wanted to get the old school Anchor Bay. This was like dirt cheap, so that's pretty cool to add to the collection. Um, Our Exploitation sent me a couple films to review. I did review uh, Kill Billies, so check it out. It's a backwoods type film. It wasn't bad. I don't know why the DVD keeps getting crushed. And they sent me Vampires from Spain. Uh, I guess this is a remake, so I'll get my review on this soon. From, uh, what is this, Camp Motion Pictures, I think it is, or... Where did I get this? I don't remember where I got this from. Both of them. Yeah, this is Cam Motion from uh, Cinema something. 
Shit, I forgot the website. But anyway, heading there for Halloween, and that is the WNUF Halloween special. So yeah, I've heard really good things about this movie. So still, I had a lot of things going. I had to pick it up. And on their website, I had to get it. Uh, Blood Marsh Craccoon. <laughs> It was like a killer, like, weird puppet raccoon type thing. I don't know. It looks pretty weird. This was, like, only five bucks, so I said, what the hell, why not? Uh, for some other DVDs, I did pick up uh, their watching. I did a review on this on Body Bags. It wasn't bad. Uh, it's a cool twist at the end. Um, it starts off very slow. Found footage. Yeah. I also picked up. Uh, the last Lovecraft Relic of Cthulhu. I heard this is a uh, like a Cthulhu uh, spoof, kind of like a Shaun of the Dead type movie. So why not? I love H.P. Uh, Lovecraft films, so I heard this is the one to grab. Also, I found out on Amazon, I scored this for five bucks. I was very happy to, because I guess this is going out of print. And it's a documentary of Heroes of Horror. Uh, so the only one that I had was five bucks. All the rest were like twenty to forty. Uh, this is a thick case. Very pain in the ass to open. Uh, you got one disc there, followed by the other disc with the insert. It is a <clears throat> pretty much. You have Boris Karloff, the Gentle Monster, Lon Chaney Jr., Son of a Thousand Faces documentary, Bela Lugosi, Hollywood's Dark Prince. This too is Peter Lorre, the Master of Menace, and Vincent Price, the Bastille Villain. So yeah, it's got all these documentaries on here. Pretty cool, thick case. Very happy to add that to the collection. And good thing I got this today because I had some movies that came in yesterday. But first, let me do these. Uh, I picked up uh, The Vortex. Uh, this is Gate to the Armageddon. Very low budget creature feature. Uh, also goes by Big Ass Bugs. Uh, but here in the US, it's the Vortex. Pretty much giant scorpions, spiders, and snakes. Uh, all CGI, low budget, but it was a cheesy, fun film. Kind of reminds me of the 1950s with the giant bug movies. Yeah, I definitely recommend it if you're into those. And if bad CGI doesn't bother you, because there's a lot of bad CGI, but again, it was fun. Had to buy this because everyone knows I love my killer animal movies. And here in the U.S., the DVD is like 20 bucks. Hasn't dropped. It's a DVD-R from the 8 films to die for. So I decided to fuck it and go for the uh, U.K. edition. And this one is also was like $7 free shipping, so... It gets everything that's called Maneater. It, from the U.S., it's called Unnatural. And, of course, this is not a DVD-R. This is put out by a different company about a mutated giant, pretty much, polar bear. Gotta love it. I love polar bear films. It's cool. It came in a white case. It's all winter and snow. Big body count. Not a lot of blood and gore, but it was a fun killer bear film. Let's see. I did grab... Uh, this looked... And spoke my uh, interest because I heard it's kind of like the thing in outer space. It's an anime called Lily Cat. Uh, horror anime. Have to watch this. I'm probably going to watch this tonight. Um, I heard it's pretty gory, pretty brutal. And again, if you are if you like the thing, uh, check it out. I'll probably do a review on this sometime soon. But uh, if you've seen it, let me know. Again, I'm going to probably watch it again later tonight. <laughs> I did also grab <clears throat> is uh, the Alien Within. This also has the uh, bonus feature Evil Spawn. Evil Spawn and Alien Within are the same films. It's just that with everything going on, they redid it again. One was from 1990, which was the Alien Within, and Evil Spawn was from 1987. So this one they put out on one disc, but they also have all special features and all the uh, behind the scenes on it for both films. So yeah, gotta check it out, love my alien creature movies. And of course I got a box set, I was watching Terror for Toms and this really uh, poked my interest. It is a double feature called They Feed and Savage Spirits. Of course the box came a little dilapidated, which I hate when they do that. 
but each one is on its separate case. Uh, Savage Spirits looks like a supernatural slasher, looks like, with um, spirits and uh, a pool party. And they feed is looks like a type of creature feature. So if you've seen these guys, let me know. So I'll probably watch them at some point. Yeah, that's like the only one I've seen too. The drive drive in horror double feature. It's like a popcorn type box. <laughs> All right, those are the DVDs. Now let's get on to the Blu-rays. <clears throat> First off, like I said, for the convention, shit. I grab, um, let's see, my only convention Blu-ray was Empire of the Dead, and I got this autographed by Ron Bonk, who is a producer, plus a couple of the others, if you can see it, sorry for the glare. The white silver doesn't do well, but it is autographed, and it is also autographed in the front, very light. I have, This was made near me, so I was very happy to finally get this into the collection. Also got, very happy to own, um, the website has this movie for $8 shipping. It's fucking nuts. But Amazon had it. Same price, free shipping, prime, and that is Tales of Halloween. Yes, I bought it. I got the four disc edition for $35 free shipping. So worth it. My only gripe is, okay, here's your the size. The Blu-ray is a lot smaller. But it is the same size as a DVD. So I'm going to have to put it on my DVD side. I know some people will be like, oh my god, it's a Blu-ray in your DVDs. Well, due to the size of the shelf, can't do it. I have to put it in the Blu-ray and the DVD section. But it's got all the shorts. It's got the CD. got some cards. Ah, oh, this movie was freaking awesome. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, next for the Blu-rays was a, uh, actually an upgrade where... It was used, but it's actually brand new. It's a double feature of Midnight Movie and Killer Movie. Had Midnight Movie, which is a good slasher. Don't know anything about Killer Movie. And it's a thick uh, two movies together on one with a slip. I got it for like two bucks. Used, but it was brand new. I'm not complaining. I also picked up uh, Chosen Survivor. Zer, sorry, Chosen Survivors. Cool killer bat movie. I finally grabbed uh, Miss 45. Got Found it used at a used store. So I was very happy to grab that. I heard some good things about Miss 45. Also at the used store, I picked up um, Where the Dead Go to Die. I guess this is a uh, horror, dark horror anime type film. I uh, don't know much about it, but I heard some interesting things. So yeah. I also picked up Hangman. I heard good things about this uh, found footage film. Uh, we also, on the 22 Shots and Moods and Horror podcast, we do the um, Secret Santa, but we call it Secret Satan. <laughs> and uh, my guy had mine, and Joanna had me, and she sent me Night of the Demons 2 on Blu-ray, which is awesome. My wife and I watched it last night. It was great. For Halloween. Uh, Sugar Hill. Another great zombie film. Watched it the other day. It was awesome. Uh, Troll Hunter. We came with this cool uh, slip. Or Troll Hunter on one side. And the other language on the other. So that's cool. Yeah, there it is. Cool slip. And it's got the regular Troll Hunter here. Great found footage. I've seen the movie. It's great. And they also sent me. She sent me The Nesting. I've heard mixes on it. I don't care. Can't wait to watch it. I uh, also picked up Fender Bender from Scream Factory. Cool little slasher. Uh, Best Buy, they had It Came From Outer Space on um, Blu-ray. Original 2D and 3D for like $7. Had to pick up and grab it. thought that movie was great. Uh, they also had um, Attack on Titan. This is the live action of it. The second one doesn't come out until December, and of course the anime is expensive as hell, so I'm on the bandwagon of grabbing uh, the live action. I've heard some good things about it. Of course, of course, I had to pick up Sharknado 4, 
And with this, when you bought it at Best Buy, it came with a bottle opener because you know you had to be drinking to watch this movie. This movie is nuts. All the cameos, all the the references to different horror films was hysterical. I was dying laughing. I also grabbed uh, the Neon Demon. <clears throat> Don't know anything about it. I know everyone's raving about it. You're going to love it or hate it. If I grabbed it, watch it at some point. And another one that doesn't have a U.S. release, and I had to have this in my collection, so I went with uh, <clears throat> the U.K., and that, of course, is Ghost Shark, <laughs> with a cool lenticular cover. And, of course, it's the normal Ghost Shark with a thick bluer case. Uh, loves, this movie's just pure cheese. Come on, it's Ghost Shark. Alrighty. Next I picked up, Vincent Price's House of Wax in 3D. Uh, Best Buy had this for like $7, brand new. So I jumped on that bandwagon, picked that one up to add to the collection. Uh, picked up uh, Lights Out. Don't know anything about this movie, but I'll give it a watch. I've heard mixes on it. Uh, some more upgrades. Got the Waxwork 1 and 2 from good old Vestron. This is their number 3 movie. Still got to get Blood Diner from the Vestron line. Sooner or later I'll grab it. And I did grab John Carpenter's The Thing from Scream Factory. I bought Waxwork, uh, my next one in this movie. They had a sale. For every two of the third one, he got 75% off. So I got this with all my discounts and coupons for $3.65. Fuck yeah. Awesome. Stick it to the man. <laughs> And the other one I bought from FYE was, of course, The Hills Have Eyes. Um, awesome edition from Arrow. Comes with the booklet and the book. Beautiful hard box. Yeah, that was more worth that sale, grabbing those for that. I did pick up one out of the two Wim Castles, which is 13 Ghosts and 13 Frightened Girls. Had 13 on DVD, so this is a good upgrade. Grabbed uh, the Deadly Bees finally from Olive. Yep. Yep, Olive Films. It was a little cheaper on Amazon, so I picked up that for my Killer Bees. Uh, grabbed Bur Burial Grounds from Severin. Came with the awesome uh, limited edition slipcover. Can't wait to give that one a watch. Mutant from Code Red. I heard this transfer is insanely well done, which is awkward for uh, Code Red. But hey, I love Mutant. My first multi-pack that I bought was because I wanted Mutant in it, and it had a Snow Beast. Next, of course, I picked up Hobgoblins from uh, <clears throat> Vinegar Syndrome. Wow, I never knew this was going to get a Blu-ray. Cool little mini creature feature. Also, I had to buy is The Pit on Blu-ray. I have this on a DVD. I'll keep it because it's the combo with Hellgate. I know Hellgate's on a Blu-ray from Arrow. Sooner or later I'll grab it. But that DVD is out of print and kind of rare. But even though this has got released, there are DVD collectors out there who only collect just DVD. But the pit's just awesome. I can't believe this even got a Blu-ray. It's so weird movie. Glad to have it. And last for my haul, <clears throat> sorry I'm going kind of fast, but I want to get this going, is a steelbook. I don't collect many steelbooks, but of course I got Independence Day resurgence this is the sequel i didn't mind it i liked it i liked how it goes back in time kind of to uh the 1996 and it goes yeah this was the war of 96 and they talk about it uh people from the first movie are in this one too they reprise their same roles that's awesome i actually when i found the steel book i said why not all right guys thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed my uh DVD and Blu-ray haul for October. If there's some films that I haven't seen, because there's a lot, <laughs> and you have, please let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, guys, have a good one. Stay safe, and I hope you guys had a great Halloween. Uh, have a good one, and peace. Yeah.